Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. We are in Ballarat Tower Settlement. Yesterday, yesterday, it was actually earlier today for me, uh, we did defeat the Divine Beast Dancing Lion. Not easily. No, no, I don't even know how many attempts it was. Was it 12? 10, 12-ish? Maybe even a couple more? I don't know. What I do know is that after I was done with that episode, I went online and I tried to help some folks defeat the Divine Beast, and uh, try as we may, not a single host succeeded in killing the, the Divine Beast in the hour that I was doing co-op. So, uh, take that as you will. I think the difficulty of this DLC is going to be a rather contentious conversation. There's going to be some praising it, some okay with it, and others absolutely trashy. In fact, right now, the Steam version seems to be sitting at a mixed review with most of the negative comments talking about the difficulty. But let's let's table that for now. Let's have that conversation in the comments uh, throughout this series and see if our feelings change. But we're still here in Ballarat because there are two things I wanted to check. Number one, I wanted to go back to the Horn Scent Grandam, see if she has any new dialogue now that the lion is dead and I got the helm. Not to mention there seemed to be almost like an altar in there to the dancing lion, so I want to see if I can interact with that. And also, I have this key, the well depths key. So we need to go back to the well at the beginning of Bellarat and head down and see where that may lead. Uh, do I have, I do have two revered spirit ashes. So let's start by turning those in. There we have it, very nice. And head on over here. That is such a beautiful move. I love it. Oh, she seems exasperated. Oh, is that... Is that it? Is it bad how much I want to kill her now just to see what happens? Okay, nothing here. Well, let's, let's throw on the helm. Not that. Will she talked to me with the helm on? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh such a joy to smell the scent again. Does a sculpted keeper stand before me? Oh! As I felt the sacred beast's essence fade, a great Anxiety welled up within. Forgive this old woman her foolish fears. It is such relief I cannot express. After an eternity of the mind, her voices have at last reached the heavens as if it's by thy gracious arrival. Oh, oh. Oh. I implore, vessel of the sacred beast, have my son accompany thee to war, and dance thy dance of beauteous color. Take vengeance upon Mesmerity's lot. They who betrayed us, I, they who burned us, let them face in thy wrath. They're just desserts. My song will I sing in service to thee. Watchful spirit. Is that a sorcery? O oh, sculpted keeper, channel thy color into the most resplendent of dances. My song will I sing. Okay, and then just curious, if I take that off... You, you still talk to me. Okay, that's funny. By the way, that's what uh, that's what Sir Mick looks like. Oh, horned beast from higher sphere delivered. The Mick of the to dance and conform. Well, what did we just get? It is... Oh, it's an incantation! Required 26 faith. I just so happen to have that. Summons a guardian spirit above the caster's head. An entreaty received from the Empyrean... Grandam, Empyrean, 
fascinating. Summon a garden spirit above the caster's head. The spirit never strays far from the caster, conjuring several apparitions before dissipating. Take vengeance upon Mesmer and his lot. They who betrayed us, I, they who burned us. Let them face in thy wrath their just desserts. Yeah, we're going to be using that. We are absolutely going to be using that. What a fun little secret. What a fun little secret. And they had a great hint by having the head of the dancing lion in her room. That was uh, that was well done. I like when gameplay makes sense to a degree. Now, I am going to head back actually to the Table of Lost Grace for a couple of things. One, I want to check in with the two fingers, even though, yes, um, <clears throat> technically uh, dead. The finger reader. And we can get either... Ooh, is that a... That's a talisman. Raises potency of storms. A charm depicting the crazed, cavorting dance of the Divine Beast conducted at the Tower Festival. Raises potency of storms. Divine Beasts are messengers of the heavens, and their rage mirrors the tumult of the skies, of which storms are the pinnacle. Oh, a new frost stomp. The Divine Beast Frost Stomp, a skill which imitates the wrath of the Divine Beast Dance. Lift a leg up high and stamp it down with great force. Send a powerful wave of frost straight out along the ground. Can be charged to increase power and range. Oh, I want both. I do want both. But I'm going to start with the Ash of War Divine Beast Frost Stomp. Yeah, I have, I have an idea. I do have an idea. Uh, not that way, although I may need to end up going that way. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do, because I'm supposed to be using the Halig Tree Soldiers. Let's go ahead and bump them up. I should be able to go all the way to 10. Yes, we can, that'll replace my Dung Eater, which takes a lot of FP anyway. Go ahead and change that right now, in fact. Okay, good. And then, I had said I wanted to try out that Bone Bow. Let's try this. See how high I can get without getting too crazy with the stones. Maybe 20? I could get up to 20. Yes, that's that's actually perfect. Um, but also, I think we're gonna try out that new Frost Stomp. Let's do Ash of War, I'll put it on the spear, because it said it was usable on all armaments. Oh, look at that. Frost build 105. Okay, never mind. they're both 105. I was very, very impressed for a moment. Um, oh, I can't make it sacred. That's a bummer. That is disappointing. The magic is okay, but I'm probably better off doing keen. And just, I could put a weapon buff on it if needed. Okay, now I'm gonna use, try that instead. And it doesn't require any specific bow or uh, arrow, I don't think. Which is probably good because I don't have any standard arrows. Uh, actually, does the... Does the merchant over here sell them? First off, let's offer... String sellers and corins. I don't know why I never offered corins, but... There we go. 1200 for a string, huh? Often carried by demi-humans, which makes me think that the blood fiends are some sort of descendant of the demi-humans. Okay, so what do we have? Any more sixes? I definitely need more sevens, though. Let's grab a bunch of them. There we go. Alright. What I didn't do, though, was buy any, <laughs> buy any arrows. Do you see? Sell any. You don't actually sell any. Well, I should be able to craft some just to try out. 
I don't have as many as I'd like, but let's do, there we go. Rank or shot. Okay. Uh, lastly, let's throw on, I'm not using the lightning at all. And even though this next incantation doesn't fit this build at all, let's certainly try it out. Watchful spirit. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, now, we gotta go back. We're gonna go to Bellarat. And admittedly, it might take me a second to find the well. Because frankly, I just don't remember where it is at all. That's impressive, and fairly cheap. Was it all the way back here? I think I'm just leaving. Okay, that was pretty cool. This bow is so tiny. Look at how cool that is. And you can even do it in the air. Ooh, I like it. And it fires so fast. It does, how much FP is that though? Only three? That's not much at all. Okay. Not, not bad. We'll play around this a little bit. This will be really interesting to see in PvP. Ow! I'd like to heal, please. Oh, and I forgot that I can charge it. Was the well over this way? The well might be this way. Yes, okay, good. So time to find out what's behind that locked door. Hopefully a nice, uh, Quick area with some worthwhile loot. Ooh. Or... What, is this poison? Yeah, it's poison. So a big poison swamp. It's gonna be this whole area, this moat-like area, isn't it? Okay. Uh, tell you what, let's make sure, neutralizing bolt, I have one. How many can I craft? Hopefully more than that. Oh, wow. I have several. Well, let's start there. The buildup is pretty slow. And we can just kind of avoid it for the most part. Well, you know what we need to do, though? Oh, you guys are so far away. I was going to say, we need to test out our new incantation. Okay, come on now. Where's, uh... Where's all the loot hiding here? What is that bridge? I'm assuming I've been on that, right? Whoops. Okay. 
couple of lower smithing stones. Zero. Oh, look at the symbol on the left. Something's going to spawn. And I have a couple of ideas on what it might be. I'm going to bring out my friends. And I'm going to get ready with our new incantation. That rumbling tells me everything I need to know. Yep, there it is. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, my soldiers are actually doing all, I'm, I'm gonna die. He just doesn't care about my soldiers though. Wow, that that's unfortunate. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Uh, decent damage on the Discus of Light, though. I should probably try this again, though, right? See what it actually does. I'm not really sure what that's doing. Let's go ahead and frost him. Oh, that was good. That was very good, Dan. Oh, I'm eaten. Oh, no, no, please don't kill me. I'm dead. I'm dead if I can't get up and heal. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. We're alive. So is he for now, though. I think I'm going to go in with some prayerful tr- Not again! Okay, I need you all to do everything for me because I need to heal. That was, that was less than uh, ideal. Oh, bad. I think I got him knocked down though, right? Oh, wait. You know, of all the enemies from the base game that I was thinking, boy, I wouldn't be upset if this thing made a return. This wasn't it. I'm gonna heal again. Gotta say, these uh these soldiers are doing okay though. Got it. Okay. And even healed them. Immunizing Horm Charn Charm plus two. I guess I guess that's good. Can I I couldn't have ridden uh torrent. Yeah, I I didn't need them to return. <laughs> you soldiers though, phenomenal. Alright. Uh, so let's... Well, that poison's not going to do much. I'm not going to waste a bolus on it. Let's take a look at our new charm. It's pretty cool, the evolution. So I don't know where the plus one is. But, let's see. This goes from... I'm at 260 immunity. This brings it all the way up to 440, which is pretty crazy. Horns are sublime artifacts to Hornsen, and their presence confirms a belief that they are a chosen people. Only the repeated sprouting of fresh horns can create a tangled horn, which is viewed as an irrefutable symbol of primacy. That's pretty cool. That is actually really good. Um, in fact, for funsies, just because we're here right now, let's throw it on. And see... I hate that so much. I really, I really do hate the fact that, do I have any soap? When you put on a charm with resistance, it actually increases those meters. I, I have never fully understood why that is. Do I have any soap? I don't, 
I don't want to use a bolus. <laughs> I mean, the meter is huge. That's great and all, but... Yeah, if someone in the comments, if you want to explain to me why that has always been the case, I mean, I think even going back to the times of Dark Souls, when you put on any gear, any item that increases your resistance, it also first builds up that meter. Well, is that all that's down here? I mean, there's, there's, seems like there's more to it because we've done this. So we'll just, let's follow the wall. That returns me, okay. Love that guard counter. That's a beautiful thing. Unfortunate. Oh. Didn't have enough FP for the prayerful strike. So many enemies. Oh, get out, get out, get out. Oh, poison. All right. I am going to use bullets now because we are out of heals. All right. I was curious. Ooh, big ol' ladder up. Uh, it doesn't feel like I'm quite done with this swampy area. You know what we could do? Uh-oh, uh-oh, not, maybe not that. Back up, back up. No, no. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Oh gosh. Do I have enough for heal? I don't have enough for blessing. I don't have enough for heal either. Oh, good golly. Oh shoot, there's a big guy over there. Not sure how to handle this. Please hit. What a bummer. I might have enough just to kill him with Discus of Light. Unless he's going to do this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Horned Warrior Sword. Okay. Glad for that. Very glad. How did I miss that item? And their armor? Okay. So, Horned Warriors. Horned Calling is the unique skill. Curved Sword of the Horned Warriors. Keepers of the Tower. The ornamental tangled horns allow the blade to serve as a medium for horn calling. Invokes tangled horns to cover the blade's weapon. Strike that. Reverse it. Weapon's blade. Drive the weapon to the ground, calling a cluster of piercing horns, which is what we just saw. It is... Tw no, it's not 20. That's my prayerful strike. It's only 17. Way significantly less. What kind of scaling does it have? Quality with slightly higher dex and some faith scaling. Interesting. This imbued with sacred might become my new weapon. 
does weigh a little bit more than McKellen's the McKellen uh, straight sword. The ochre fabric is draped over a chest piece made to resemble the unclothed form of a hero from older time. I'm sorry, the clothes were made to look like an unclothed hero? Oh, crud. Poison hand? What is that? Good. Now back up. Nope. Nope. We're good. We're good. We're alive. See the item up there that I still want? Oh, poison hand. Poison hand. This is a fist or strike one. Poison spear hand strike. A glove stitched together from the flayed skin of the victims of a butcherous bloodbath. A flicks target with deadly poison. Now, deadly poison is not just a, a moniker. It is its own category of poison. It deals a higher tick rate, a higher tick rate of poison, but for less time. So overall, I think regular poison does more damage. Uh-oh. 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 Um, I have nothing. I have nothing with which I can... Oh, they didn't actually see me. Uh, but anyway... Yeah, pretty interesting. Raises attack power when poisoning occurs in the vicinity. Hello. Forged of an unyielding black impulse toward revenge. Fostered in those who have had everything burned or stolen from them. These are the weapons of the utterly downtrodden. Poison spear hand strike makes hands into the shape of a spear before unleashing a plunging stab that penetrates the body of the enemy. Afflicts foe with a large dose of deadly poison that weighs only one weight unit it requires 28 arcane oh no so i can't play with that right now but it is possible that a respec is in our future because i want to try all the new stuff i see you oh no 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 Please, no. Gross. Stop it. Oh, you almost killed me. Serpent arrows? Okay. Uh, I think... I didn't check... out there. Is there any... Is there anything that I can do... Wait a second. <laughs> oh, crud. Get up. I know what I can do. See, I'm recording. I have the power of time on my hands. So what I will do is put on the Blessed Dew Talisman as well as the Blessed Blue Dew Talisman <laughs> and wait. Well, that's enough for Nurture Heal. And therefore, that's enough for me. All right, I need to go back to what I was using, however, which was, I know, Great Jar's Arsenal, and then I think I had Flock's Talisman. Ooh. I'm trying to think. Okay, Arcane gets me, that gets me to 15. I need 28, though. That's probably not going to happen. Uh, what else? Flox. There we go. I don't think I have much else to look at. Just really this outer wall. And there might not be anything there. But just, just in case. Well, there's something. <laughs> A neutralizing bolus. Thank you, game. can't get up there, which also means I definitely can't make that. So that may be everything. But it's so hard to tell because there's so much verticality to explore.
yeah, I think... I think that's it, though. Alright. Well... Off to... Oh, no. Off to this big old ladder. Ready? Ready? That was beautiful. I was just kind of curious if you killed all of them, if something would happen. No. Okay. Was not expecting an ulcerated tree spirit. <laughs> but I guess at least I didn't get another golden seed. Oh! Hey! Look where I am! Nice little shortcut back. Okay. So that's that. That is everything in Bellarat that I that I know of. I feel pretty good about that. Now, how many crosses have I found? Three, one, two, three. Do we want to go back and talk to Sir Ansbach about the number of crosses that I found? I think so. Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? Oh. Speak of the cross of the tower and also ask about the person in the verdigree armor. Okay, and yes, there was a pause there because I had to look up that word. Verdigris, or uh, as they say, Verdigris. According to my phone, a bright bluish green incrustation or patina formed on copper or brass by atmospheric oxidation. Okay. So, I'm colorblind. Is he referring to more? Oh, you must mean some more. Some more is a kind and stalwart ally. He provisions our little outfit. Some more traffics with the forager brood. His brethren, who collect supplies from all corners of the land. No doubt they find inspiration in his many virtues. These are not your foes tarnished. Should you spot any forager brood, be sure to mind your manners. So the Forager Brood is the pests. Which is interesting because if you came here before you headed over to the Prospect... Yeah, Prospect Town, which is where I found the one pest that I just so happened to realize I couldn't target. He would actually have told you not to attack. Although, we don't know them as Forager Brood in the base game. Righteous Tarnit. Well... I'm much obliged. As suspected, kindly Mikola has visited the lands which hold the tower, and appears intent on wholly dispossessing himself of his flesh. He must be seeking entrance to the Tower of Shadow. Righteous. That's it. All right. What about some more? Anything new with you? Welcome. I like finding things for you, Lady Leda, her ally things. And that's it, okay. Nothing new, mind you. Just fine. Goodbye. How about anything new with our good friends over at Three Path Cross? That's where we're gonna be heading next anyway. But Freya, you were kind of amazing in that fight against the Divine Beast. Ah, well met. That was a fine battle indeed. It heartens me that another warrior stands among us. Among the beckoned. The damage to her helm. Okay. Is it... Is it damaged? Long ago, I was stricken by scarlet rot in the swamp of Aeonia. Immobile feverish and in great pain i was entirely resigned to death i was left behind and only kindly mikola was good enough to seek me out my wound was swollen and festering exuding a most pungent odor and yet he drained the poison from it 
despite my wretched visage. Now, I consider this wound my compass. Let us both take kindly Mikola's guidance to heart. May we meet again on the battlefield, brave warrior. Ask about that other... I'm not really sure that explained the damage to the helm. Do you wonder why the eternally dour fellow keeps his distance? He's one of the tower's horn scent. I can only assume he fights for his own reasons and carries his own burdens. But we needn't concern ourselves with his affairs. He too was charmed by kindly Mikola and guided here. And that makes us allies. We're not gods, you and I. Even if we did manage to dig up the secrets of his past, I doubt our meddling could ever amount to much. Let us both, may we meet again. All right. I urge you, follow after me as long as you abide. And that's it. I do have to check one more thing, and I will go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to go into the mausoleum and see if I can duplicate the remembrance of the Divine Beast. Ah, rats. There's got to be a way to duplicate them. Perhaps it's just the wandering mausoleums in the lands between, but I'm not so sure. So we still have this area over here, but I don't know if you can just drop down, but I think... Yeah, we could go northeast, which we know that there's supposed to be another cross over there, or, or we could go northwest, check out this body of water. This unknown, probably just nothing. It looks like deep water. And we have perhaps a little town there. I think, I think that's what I want to do. This seems more like progress, and you know me. <laughs> I almost said I'm anti-progress, and that, that sounds just really bad in terms of, you know, worldview. A little, uh, little foggier than I'd like. Alright, head up to the cliff side. Oh. Glad we did. Savage Lion's Claw. Okay. So, uh, nitpick. I've talked about my, my distaste for plus one, plus two talismans. I'm not loving the fact that I'm just getting a lot of upgraded items. Upgraded Lion's Claw. Upgraded Hoarfrost Stomp. Uh, upgraded Fire Pots, you know? It, it doesn't... It doesn't scream of originality. Are they cool? Absolutely. Skill of the particularly brave, even among the red main. Somersault forward, striking foes with armament. An additional strike may be performed with an additional input. Swords, axes, and hammers. I could put this on a mace, which would be interesting. But what I want to see, though, I'm going to go back to my Ashes of War. Okay, so it's simply, it doesn't have uh, the additional attack, basically. Now you can go full Artorius of the Abyss. I can just hop down here. Uh, but no, let's, let's take the path down. Glad I did. It's another sight of grace here. What is this? Oh, I'm already here. So what is, what is this grace called? Great Bridge, north. You know, I'm going to see if passing the time will make this fog go away. It did. Now it's now it's raining. A 
abandoned ailing village. Oh, how it hurts. From very tip to toe. Uh, help me, I, I must ask. Am I human still? Is that the reason I yet suffer so? Running R2 with the spear is something something kind of special. I don't think it's just going to be human flies here. Kind of like this. Throw the discus. Well, and then miss. You know, lull them into that false sense of security we're all known for. Okay, so these buildings can't be entered. But... If I go down below... A lot going on here, so I think it's time for Radigan's Ring of Light. Another revered spirit ash, which is beautiful. <laughs> oh, that is just too fun. So, so good. Wait a minute. Is that... Are those arches one of the paintings? No. Wait. Actually. Is it? It kind of looks like it, but... Possibly from up there, a little bit higher up. works for me. Really like the new Horfrost, even though I was just complaining about how I don't like <laughs> simple upgraded versions. Ailment Talisman. And what, pray tell? Rate? Oh! That's... Bizarre. That's unique, I gotta say. Raises resistance to the last ailment suffered. When certain ailments are triggered, this talisman grants resistance to the same ailment. When the weak were infected with the dreaded fly sickness, they perished well before the metamorphosis could take hold. Oddly, those who cared for the infected and made certain they were given a proper burial were never afflicted themselves. I, I would like to see how some people employ that. Because again, at least it, it is unique. Something we haven't seen before. Oh, uh, we have options. 
we do have us some options. We could continue the path, which was we we're going to head into that kind of open field area with the water and whatnot. We could also head under the bridge and follow that canal. And obviously we're going to be doing both at some point. But I think since we're here, we'll take care of that. But that's going to have to wait because that is actually going to do it for this episode. Most of the time we still spent in Bellaret Tower, believe it or not. It is just that massive. But all things come to those who wait. Or all good things come, I should say, to those who wait. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying, and I will see you next time.